Preparing for a free and fair election, Afghanistan's Independent Election Commission are cautious but hopeful about the vote. Cautious because of the ongoing violence from jihadist groups, including the murder of several candidates. Hopeful because they have been making efforts to tackle another major concern for voters, transparency. Every day our people get killed, and it's all because of a lack of transparency in the previous parliament. If we'd had a transparent parliament, we wouldn't have had all these problems. Yet efforts to ensure transparency will be in vain if large swathes of the country are too afraid to go to their local polling station. Much pressure has been put on the government to help prevent attacks by the Taliban, who have threatened to sabotage the elections. 50,000 members of the Afghan security forces are being deployed to protect polling stations, and each station will be surrounded by three levels of security belts. Ten districts completely controlled by the Taliban will not participate in the elections. They have willingness, I mean, they are willing and they have a plan, but whether they are capable of that is a question. But there is a concern that Taliban and other illegal groups will uh, create problems in the election day, and especially for the candidates, for the voters, and for the observers. With the Taliban currently engaged in separate negotiations with the United States, the Afghan government will be counting on a well-run election to bolster its integrity, in the hope that it too will be involved in any possible political settlement, most importantly with the backing of the Afghan people.